Off-market deals, folks. That's what we're talking about. The numbers on off-market deals are usually much more profitable than deals on the market because when it's off-market, ain't nobody bidding against you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I help everyday investors like you Everyday investors like my guy, Abe, from Pennsylvania. Now, Abe, this is a pretty darn nice house, bro, and you found this. You sent this to me, okay? You found this uh, when you were searching on uh, PropStream for properties that have been foreclosed upon, right? You're looking to do off-market deals, and you think this is a good one to target, right? So you wanted my take on it, let you know the options, things of that nature, PropStream is, of course, an awesome place to go if you're trying to maximize the amount of money you want to make, guys. Yes, here on the MLS Search and Analysis Show, we do a heck of a lot of good deals that are on the market, folks. A lot of good deals. We got like 1,100 plus episodes of this show, right? The majority are on market deals, right? It's called the MLS Search and Analysis Show. But I could also help you guys who are chasing down off-market deals, right? Because off-market deals, folks, that's where the big money is made, right? Oftentimes, I get investors uh, that ask me like, hey, man, can you send me some off-market deals? Bruh, I'm a fucking real estate broker. How do you think off-market deals get on the market? I'm the son bitch putting them there, guys. I track down off-market deals every single day. Some of them I buy. Some of them I sell on the Investment Properties for Sale show, right? So if you want me to track, if you want to find a property from me that I track down that was off-market, it's on the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. The moment I get my hands on it, I'm a real estate broker. It's now on the market, okay? You get people... You get brokers or whatever that will try to sell you off-market deals. That's just a marketing term, dude. It's not truly off-market because they're a goddamn real estate broker. That's what they're doing. They're marketing it to you, right? True, true off-market deals is this one because you, Abe, you're tracking down the owner. They're not selling it. You're tracking them down, and you do that by utilizing PropStream. And, folks, guess what? Your boy Jay Wise has a free trial to PropStream for you, okay? Click the link in the show notes below. Sign up. This is how you can search properties, and it ain't just in Cleveland. It's nationwide. You can do it in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Los Angeles, California, Dallas, Texas. Whatever market you want, you can target distressed properties. Free trial. Click the link below, and guess what? After the free trial expires, if you want to remain utilizing PropStream's services, since you clicked on the link and you're a Holton Wise TV viewer, you get yourself a 3% discount. Now, you've gone through that process, Abe, and you want to know about this property, okay? This is a picture of when it was sold in 2018, okay? In 2018, it's sold to an owner-occupant, Okay. This owner-occupant bought it for $124,900, right? So they paid $125K for this, right? And the public remarks from that agent, completely renovated, all new plumbing and electrical fixtures, new flooring, cabinets, windows, all inspections done to obtain a new certificate of occupancy, right? So we know that in 2018, this bad boy was... Upgraded to the nines, right? Best thing you can get. Best shape it's probably ever been in, right? Three years ago, okay? Now, from there, that woman, she lost the home to foreclosure, right? Maybe she bought it, lost her job. I don't know. The following year, it was foreclosed upon, right? And then the current owner, an investment conglomerate or whatever they are, they acquired it for $60,000 after that, and they still own it right now, right? So, it's fair to assume that that investment conglomerate does not live there, right? It's a non-owner occupied. It even says it in the records, non-owner occupied. It's an investment conglomerate, right? 
Do they have a tenant in there? I'm not sure. If they do have a tenant in there, if you're wondering, like, what should I do with this, right? Because, you know, they haven't offered this for sale. It's off market. It's up to us to reach out to them, right? So what are they doing with it right now? I don't know. We have several options, though, right? Maybe they're renting it, okay? Maybe they have a tenant in there. If that's the case, market rent for this is 1000 a month, 12000 a year, right? So if you were able to pick this up and they had a tenant and they're paying 1000 bucks a month, you'd be making $5,066 a year on average, right? As far as price goes, they picked it up for 60 Maybe we shoot them an offer, shoot them a letter. Hey, you want us to take your this off your hands, right? If you could pick it up for what they paid for it, sixty grand. You'd put down fifteen grand. The bank would kick in forty-five with a thousand-dollar a month tenant. That's kicking off a nineteen percent return on investment, right? That's one option, right, to keep it as a rental, right? Maybe, maybe, if they do have a tenant in there, maybe you just want to pick it up from them from sixty. If they'll sell it to you for sixty, you could turn right around and wholesale it right on the investment properties for sale show right after you take title. Have us sell it on the investment properties for sale show, right? I could sell this bad boy with a thousand dollar tenant in it for about eighty thousand dollars, seventy five to eighty thousand dollars, right? That'd be a quick profit for you, right? You probably make about ten G's after uh, paying the commission, closing costs of both deals, right? So you could do that, right? That could be a deal, or maybe, just maybe, this investment conglomerate, maybe they no longer have a tenant in there. Maybe you buy it from them at sixty. I can't tell you what the condition of the property is, right? I don't know. Uh, the The latest info we have is 2018. It was completely rehabbed, right? Mechanicals and all. So I'm going to guess all you'd really need to do is cosmetics, right? So if they sold it to you for 60, maybe we come in and we put in 25, maybe $30,000 tops of cosmetic upgrades. And then we put it back on the market and target another owner-occupant buyer, and maybe they pay 125 just like the original person that we talked about paid in 2018, right? So this potential property, right, you got three possible options. Run it as a rental, wholesale it, sell it to an owner-occupant, right? All three options would make sense if you're able to acquire it from them for $60,000. Maybe you want to try to acquire it for less. Maybe you're interested in paying it a little bit more. It's going to be up to you and the seller, right? It's off market. They haven't decided to sell it yet. So it's up to you or me to contact them, right? We could do this a couple different ways, man. You already got their information from PropStream, right? You know their mailing address. You can do a reverse search on Google or Facebook, find out who owns that company, get their phone number, get their Facebook page, or just send them a letter, right? And then say, hey, man. Saw you bought your property. I'm interested in doing a deal. This is what I could offer, right? You could do that. It's totally free. If you want me to do that for you, you want me to track them down and try to try to present an offer to you for them, I will do so. It's going to cost you $2,000, though. My services, they ain't never free, right? So you could do it yourself. Pay us $2,000. We'll track them down for you. If you track them down, right, and you and the seller, you agree, on terms, and you just want a real estate broker to draft up the agreement, push it all through title, make sure all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, toss us a thousand bucks, we'll take care of that. If not, you and the seller can handle it. Maybe you bring in an attorney, whatever you want to do, right? So two G's, we'll track them down, free, you track them down. One grand, we'll write up the contract, free, you figure it out on your own. And then, of course, no matter how the whole thing shakes out, if after you take title, you need property management, Holton Wise will be there for you. Full service property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole shebang, right? So this is a solid deal if you can make it happen for about what they paid, 60 k That's why it's great to target these off-market properties, folks, because anytime they're put on the market, all the other buyers are bidding on them, and the price just keeps going up. It goes up. It goes up. The very best deals are off-market deals. And again... I got a free trial to PropStream. You could find properties on PropStream just like Abe did. You'll get access to properties. You'll get the contact info of the owner. You will find their tax mailing address, and you can utilize that software to search things. You can search distressed owners, divorces, vacant houses, empty houses, the whole shebang, right? It's nationwide 
free trial if you click the link below then after that you get a three percent discount because you're a holton wise tv viewer thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment